Hello and welcome. My name is Ben. Today's tutorial is on the topic of volume, adapted from question 2014, Methodist Girls Prelim Paper 2, question 18. This is a 5 marks question. It looks difficult, but actually, in fact, it's not. Tank X measuring 40 cm by 30 cm by 98 cm is 3 quarter filled with water. Tank Y with a square base of side 50 cm is empty. Water from tank X is slowly poured into tank Y until the water level in tank X is two times the height of the water level in tank Y. So what is the height of the water level in tank X? Doing it systematically and in steps, step by step, is not. I'll show you that it's actually not difficult to conquer. So what is the volume of water that is already in tank X? Applying the formula, we know that volume is equal to length times breadth times height. And because this is not filled to the brim, it's only 3 quarter, so we take 3 quarter times 40 times 90 times 98, and that gives us 88,200 cm3. Okay, this is the volume of water, bear in mind that. So the next question is to know. So, knowing that the height of water is always two times, uh, the height of water in tank X is always two times that of the height of water in tank Y. So, in order to have one centimeter in height in tank Y, what is the volume of water that is needed? Again, applying the formula, we have length done breadth times the height, which is 2,500. But bear in mind that for tank X is two times. So when the level, of, uh, when the height of the water in tank Y is has risen by one centimeter, there should be a corresponding increase of two centimeter in height in tank X. So tank X, what is the volume of water for every 2 cm rise in height? We have the formula again, length times breadth times height. This is 40 times 30 times 20. That gives us 2,400. So what is the total volume of water that is needed to raise 1 cm in tank Y and 2 cm in tank X? This is add up together and they'll give us 4,900 centimeter cube of course right so remembering that this is what we just worked out this is the volume of water to raise one centimeter in tank y and two centimeter in tank nine uh, sorry tank x <laughs> we need 4900 centimeter cube but what is the total volume of water in the tank this is what we have just worked out um, 88,200 centimeter cube. So again, you need to think in terms of how many groups can 88,200 centimeter cube give us? Division is as good as saying 88,200 divided by 4,900. They will give us 18 groups. 18 groups of every increment or every rise in one centimeter in tank Y and two centimeter rise in tank X. So what is the height of the water level in tank X? Remember that this every group of 4,900 will give rise to two centimeter in tank Y. So 18 groups, you have 18 groups of two centimeter rise or increase. So it should be 18 times two that give us 36 centimeter. So the height of the water in level um, of the water level in tank X is 36 centimeter. That's easy. Five mark questions. There you go. Thank you.